Um, this is my second video. Um, to anyone that didn't watch the first one, my name is Demencia. I have been reselling for over 10 years. Last video, last video I said 10 years. I went back and calculated and it's really more like 13. So I wanted to say over 10 years. Um, I've been a part-time reseller selling throughout college. Um, when I graduated, I opened up a brick and mortar resale and vintage boutique um, in the Washington DC area, well, in Washington DC, not in the area. Um, I had that business for five years. I decided to close it about three years ago and I have continued to sell online um, ever since. So I wanna get right into it. Let's talk about eBay arbitrage. I hear a lot of a lot of our resellers talk about retail arbitrage. So buying items, new items from Nordstrom's, Rack, um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, items new with tags and reselling for profit. I'm speaking of buying items from eBay and reselling them for profit, right? I'm sure you guys have done it before, but I'm just gonna do a whole breakdown on um, my top 10 or my favorite um, eBay arbitrage sales that I've made um, thus far this year. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. My first sale was a pair of Fry Harness Mules. Um, I bought these for about $28.87. Um, I think they were maybe $18 and then $10 um, with shipping. So $28.87 in total. Um, I sold these for $120. Super excited because it was a full price sale. They didn't send me an offer. I did price these up a bit because I was expecting, you know, um, an offer, right? Everyone on Poshmark loves sending offers and I love accepting offers. So with that being said, I try to price up a bit. So my next sale, I bought these around the same time. Um, they're uh, the Stuart Weitzman brocade loafers, like a smoking loafer super cute but wear them with like a sweater like this i bought them for like style alone yes they're branded Stuart Weitzman but i mean as we all know you know anyone that's reselling Stuart Weitzman can be like a serious hit or miss right i've had a couple of pretty good um Stuart Weitzman sales this year but historically Stuart Weitzman is just a hit or miss so these i paid 18 dollars and two cents in total including shipping everything tax everything 18 bucks and I sold them for $67. I don't know about you, but I mean, I'm not mad at that. I think I made 52 after Poshmark um, fees. And so 52 minus 18, I think I made like $36, but I was happy. I mean, they sold within a day of me posting them. I literally screenshotted the photos from eBay. Okay, so actually I did not screenshot the photos for these. Um, this is actually my photo who's selling has taken great photos i will screenshot those photos and post them on my my page just until i get them then i'll you know update it with my actual photos but if they sell in the meantime you know in route so if i bought them on friday and if they sell by saturday and i get them on monday sorry i'm slowly photos um again i know everyone um spends a lot of time on their photos so just look at it as i'm appreciating <laughs> I appreciate those great photos, so I might use them um, and then update them with my own photos in the future. Next, again, Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. So these, I sold these for a great price, but honestly, I feel like Stuart Weitzman boots are starting to become oversaturated. So I paid 50 bucks for these and I sold them for $233, right? And they were a size six and a half. So I think it was like a knock it out the park sale. But since then, I bought two or three pair of um, Stuart Weitzman boots, getting all excited over the knee, getting all excited, not looking at the size. So they've all been like a size six, six and a half. And guess what? I'm still holding them. I'm holding the bag. Next sale, um, a pair of Sorrel boots. I can't remember the, um, the name of the style, but what I like to do um, with a lot of my boots and shoes is to screenshot the photo that I'm thinking about, you know, buying that, that item. And I put it in a Google image and I check for the style name and then I'll go back and I'll search on Poshmark to look at the comps. Um, for these, I think the comps were, comps were all over the place, but I've been having amazing luck with Sorrel boots. So I just said, hey, let's try them out. So bought them, I paid $35.58 including shipping and I sold them for 90 bucks and I think they sold within a day. So look, let me tell you, 
I'll take the, what was that, $50 or something like that that I made off of those for one day of turnaround time. I actually sold them before I even got them. So this is another example where I might screenshot those photos from that seller. I'll find a, um, a, a product image, you know, just a, I forgot what to call them, but product image. And I'll um, list that until I get my item. And you know what? This, matter of fact, before going to the next item, story time. So I went to New York about three months ago and um, I went for a totally different reason. I'm looking at something popping on my phone. I went for a totally different reason, but um, I ended up going to Buffalo Exchange, one of my favorite resale stores, and buying a pair of Sorrel Wedge booties. And um, I had those sitting in my office for weeks and weeks and weeks. And as I'm cleaning my office, I say, okay, let me try to list, you know, some of the stuff. So I go and um, I post these and they sell the same night. So I post them for one, I think like 30 and they sold for 112 Then I paid a hundred, I mean, I paid $28 for them. So I sold them for 112 um, within like 12 hours. So this kind of made me pick up the speed on Sorrel boots. So I've been going Sorrel crazy lately. And um, I went a little too crazy because I, you know, I made that great sale. I bought those boots for $35 and then sold them for 90. Then I bought another pair of boots um, on eBay for 99 cents, I think. And I think in total, I paid 13 bucks, including shipping. And they were a vintage pair of boots. And I had sold another vintage pair of Sorrel boots for a great price. So I got a little overzealous. And um, I don't think they were really worth me I mean, 13 bucks, you can't really beat that. But I don't know, like, if they really were worth me buying them. So I did buy them, right? Neither here nor there. I purchased those. And so I listed those last night on Macari, and they sold for $47. So not the biggest, brightest, best of sale. But, you know, good sale, especially for really a... I mean, I had them for like a week because I needed to clean them a little bit. But $13 into $47, you can't really beat that. So I thought that was, you know... An easy sale. Sorrel has been great to me this season. I've sold several pairs of Sorrel boots. I actually sold another pair of children's Sorrel boots today. Um, I think I bought them. Um, I'll just list them up here. It's not a part of my um, eBay uh, arbitrage, but I'm just talking about how much I love this brand. So I think I bought these for like six bucks. Um, I know I bought them on like a 50% off day at the thrift store last week. I think I paid $6 for them. I sold them for 50 and they are children's. So I don't know if Sorrel is on your, I think they say Bolo list, but it's definitely on mine. I got like seven pair in my closet right now. They're amazing. They keep the numbers rolling. So back to my eBay arbitrage list. Um, the next item on my list are these Chloe Elf boots. Um, I love Chloe. Chloe is amazing. It's the bomb to me. They have the best shoes. The best shoes, the best perfume, which is so light. Mm, mm. Mm -mm, like so girly I love it so these are not the girliest um depiction of their brand but I just thought they were cool boots I paid 30 bucks for these sold them I think in like a few weeks um for a hundred dollars next item actually is another pair of Chloe shoes um they're like a boho sandal well not sandal boho wrap around um heel um I paid 42.50 for these and I sold them for 140 now these these are so these are super Chloe to me it's just like you don't know what this the brand is but you know like you know you know what you're getting yourself into you know what these are you know they're like something special these were amazing they were 42 dollars um including shipping they were wrapped in the plastic i don't think they'd ever been worn before maybe once they were just like ugh. Mm. If I could have kept those for myself, they were my size, they'd be in my closet. I'd be wearing them right now. <laughs> so, and I didn't talk about, um, this is my second time taping this, the first time I deleted it. What I didn't talk about is how I like to find my items. So, when I'm on eBay, it's really obviously easy to search, right? So, I search the brand. I just search Jimmy Choo women's shoes. And then I'll filter by price. So, usually for me, <clears throat> my max is 50 bucks. Um, honestly, really 40 because I have to factor in and I'm going to have to pay for shipping, right? Most likely, if somebody's selling their shoes for $40, they're going to want you to pay for shipping. So I filter on 40 or 50 bucks, and um, sometimes like, the filter is low as 20 I know the items are getting for 20 bucks are not going to be like the creme de la creme, but they're still going to sell. Um, but these next item, uh, this next item, I did that. I searched Jimmy Choo, I filtered on 40 bucks, and bam these beauties popped up. 
Now, when I'm looking for items, I'm looking for price first and foremost, but I'm definitely looking for style as well. Like I would definitely wear these shoes. And I noticed the stuff that I would wear and the stuff I would buy for myself sells like hotcakes. It sells really fast. And I don't know, I don't know if that speaks to my style or not, I don't know. But I know what the things I want to keep for myself is just like runs out the door. So I bought these, I did another screenshot, you know, matter of fact, I'm lying. I did not screenshot these because I just didn't think that the photos that the seller posted were that great. And I just felt that if I waited for a couple of days, got them, take, take, took my own pictures, then I knew they were sale. And I did, did just that. They came in like three days, photographed them in my kitchen where I photographed everything. And they sold within a week. I had them posted for 200, they sold for 140 and I paid $40 for them, including shipping. So hell of a flip, hell of a turnaround. Um, next one um, is another pair of Jimmy Choo uh, shoes. They were $62. These shoes were beautiful. Another pair of shoes I definitely actually were looking at a similar style one to keep for myself. Um, crazy story time on these. So I paid 62 bucks for them, flipped them for $200 on um, Poshmark within like a week, right? Mm, I'm so excited. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. so excited. I look back on eBay because I'm, you know, thinking let's react, let's buy another pair of shoes. I'm back on eBay, maybe in like a month from that date that I sold the shoes. And I see that somebody has bought my shoes. <laughs> they bought the shoes, they screenshotted my pictures and they resold my shoes for $400. When I say I was hating, hating is like an understatement. And it's like, how can I hate? Because I do it all the time, right? But I'm, I was more upset with myself that I didn't do the research and I was so pressed for a sale that I sold them. I took a $200 L. I could have made $400 on these shoes. And I didn't do the research. I just knew they were new, newish styled Jimmy Choo. I only paid 60 bucks for them. So I sold them for 200. The next girl grabbed them, maybe the next guy and sold them for four. So that's a lesson learned from me. Next item, Mew Mew platforms. I paid 99 cents for these guys, but I sold these for $75. Now I'm gonna be honest and say like, the only reason why I bought these were because they were $99. They're not a current style. These were not $99, they were 99 cents. But somebody liked them. Um, maybe they're a big Mew Mew buyer. Mew Mew is extremely expensive. So maybe I'm just undervaluing, you know, what that brand is worth. Quick and easy eBay arbitrage sale. Next one um, are these pair of Manolo Blahniks. Very much so Carrie Bradshaw. We know that um, Sex and the City is rebooting. But these so before Sex and the City, you know, even came back out. I paid $18.40 for these. And um, that was including shipping. And these sold for 80 bucks. So, I mean, I like that they were jean. I thought that kind of um, put a nice spin on that Y2K style. I'm not really into Y2K, but I know that other people are. So, um, they were like a jean, kitten heel. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, 18 bucks. Let's see what happens. And um, they sold and sold fairly, fairly quickly for $80. So, I was, you know, pretty happy with that sale. What I've learned, and I've been kind of buying and selling from websites um, for quite some time, you know, you definitely have some shoes where you will end up kind of holding the bag, which means like you'll have them for a while and you may feel like you paid up for them. I personally am okay with spending 20 or $40 on items because I'm not a full-time reseller, right? I have another form of income, so I can let that $40 kind of sit and wait and see what happens. Um, so I like to get risky but it depends on you and what your risk threshold is. Again, 20 or 40 bucks, um, if I can turn that into 80 or 100 or even 200, I'm willing to gamble it. So I don't know, let me know what you think. Again, this is my um, second video. So, you know, I'm still, you know, learning what's what, but um, I don't know, check me out, subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more.